Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on my Zoya nail polishes. I've been using these for a while now and I think that I have a good enough grasp to be able to review these properly for you guys. Um, the first ones I'm going to be talking about are the matte ones because I feel like I have to review the matte ones versus the regular ones separately because they're completely different in my opinion. Um, not only are the finishes different, but the formula is really different too. And my experiences are very different as well. Um, so I have the three from their fall collection. This one's Dovima. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. This one is Loredana. And this one is Posh. So I've tried these all, and the first ones I'm going to talk about are these two. And the reason I'm going to talk about these together is because they're very, very similar, not only in color, but in finish, in texture, in application. Um, with these two, I found that as I was applying them on my nails, they dried super, super fast. And when I say super fast, I mean literally like two seconds. Like, you know how when you take your nail, you kind of put one stripe down the middle, one on the side, and one on the other side? Seriously, once I did the first stripe down the center of my nail and I went to do the next one, that first stripe was already dry. And you're probably thinking, wow, that's really cool. I thought that too until I realized that applying it was really, really difficult. And I had a hard time actually getting the color to look even throughout my nails because some parts were thicker because it had dried already. And then some parts were kind of bare because while one part of it is dry and I'm putting on a new coat, it's scraping off the new or the coat that was already dry before it. So I found these extremely difficult to apply because they dried so fast. Um, that being said, they dried very matte as well, which is what they're supposed to dry as. It looked like concrete. It was like flat concrete. And I personally like the look um, of matte nails. I know it's not for everybody, but I like it. And I love how these looked on my nails. Just the matte finish looks great. However, like I said, it dried too fast. And application was really hard for me. Um, it's just, it was weird. Like, it was really strange because I was getting frustrated. Because, yeah, it wasn't as easy as normal nail polish to apply, in my opinion. Um, also... These chipped like no other. They were on my nails for not even a whole day, and they were chipped. And then the next day, I wanted to keep these on for as long as I could. Um, but already, if I were going, if I was going by chipping, I would have removed them the first day because I just wasn't happy with how they looked. By the end of the day, they were they were chipped, and the next day they looked even worse. Um, and I think that's just because of their texture. And I know that the matte polishes aren't supposed to last as long because with these polishes, by the way, you're not supposed to use a top coat or a base coat with them because it changes the whole finish. Um, so I didn't use any of those. And I know also that these aren't meant to last as long. So my expectations for longevity with the matte velvets wasn't very high. And I was okay with that. I knew that going into it. But I didn't realize how quickly these would chip, like super fast, not even a day. Um... That being said, I do like how they look, um, but my suggestion would be if you want to wear these on your nails so you're going out one night, don't put it on until, like, right before you go out. Like, seriously, if you want to keep it on that night, put it on right before you leave and not, like, a few days before. So that's my take on those two. And the reason why I separated this is because I find that this is just so different from these two, even though they're both or even though they're all from the same matte velvet line. Um, this is posh, and this, out of the three, is the least matte. Like, this does dry matte. It doesn't have a shiny finish or anything like that, but it wasn't as matte as the other two. Like, I compared those two to, like, concrete. Like, it looked like that, and it did have kind of that rough texture a little bit. This did not. It was more like a a regular polish but without that shiny finish this was also a lot easier to apply and um, I noticed that throughout the days I was wearing it and yeah I wore this for like I believe five or six days I'll post the link um, for my blog in the side I have tons of pictures from like day one day two of like these different nail polishes so you can see how well they're lasting throughout different days um, but I wore this for a good five or six days with no real problem as compared to these ones that chipped that same day. That's why I think this one's so different. I don't really know why the formulation is so different with this one as opposed to the other two. 
but I found that as the days went on, it became less and less matte, and by the end of the day that I was wearing it, like the sixth day, I think, it just looked like regular nail polish that kind of lost a little bit of its shine, um, so it didn't stay as matte as I had hoped. The color is gorgeous, and when you initially put it on, it's great, and it does last longer than the other ones. However, it's also not as matte as the other ones. So, yeah. I like them. I do. But like I said, these ones don't last very long, and this one isn't as matte. So, take it or leave it. It's up to you. Um, if you are looking for something just to wear, like, special nights out, I definitely recommend it. Pick it up, you know? Um have fun with it. it. They're definitely fun polishes, and I will continue to wear them. Um, so on to the regular ones. I have three of them. This one is in Goldie, and this one's Rochelle. Rochelle was the first one I actually wore, and I got a lot of compliments and comments on my videos when I was wearing the, wearing this polish, so if you guys want to know, this is Rochelle. And the one I'm wearing right now is Irene. So it's like that, and I've been wearing this for the past four days, and no major damage on my nails, no chipping at all. There's just wear and tear like on the very um, tips of the ends, which is normal. These I love. I love their polishes from the regular line. Again, I've only tried these three, but I love them all. Um, they last so long. Rochelle I had on for over 10 days. Or I had it on for 10 days, but it could have well lasted more than that. I actually had to take it off before it was even ready to come off because I was just wanting a new change, but I felt like 10 days for a nail polish on natural nails is a long time. Um, with these, I have been wearing a top and base coat, and I've been using the Orly, the Orly base coat, and the Orly top coat, and I really like them. With these, they work really well together. Um, I ran out of my other ones, so I wasn't able to test out other top and base coats, but I used the Orly, and, and these work really well. Um, these go on really nicely. Um, some of them are more sheer than others, but by the time you get to the second coat, it's seriously, like, enough color with these three anyway. Um, this is two coats of Irene, and I only used two coats of Rochelle last time, too. Um, so I do really like these. There's a great color selection on Zoya's website, which I'll also put in the sidebar. The price of these nail polishes is $6, which I think is a great price for a higher-end um, nail polish. Compared to OPI, which is like eight fifty, um, Orly is in the same ballpark. China Glaze is a little bit cheaper, but still kind of more expensive than this, unless you get it at Sally's. Um, this Orly polish, just for comparison's sake, this is 0.6 fluid ounces, and this is 0.5. So this is a little bit smaller than your average nail polish, but it's not that much of a difference. Excuse me. Um, so I had a really good experience with these. I highly recommend them, and I also want more of them. Um, no problems with these. Like I said, it took so so many days before it actually started chipping noticeably for me, and I could have well worn it for even longer than that. I just kind of like to change up my nail polish. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend Zoya to you guys, um, for those of you who want more of a lasting finish, obviously from the regular line, but I mean, the trend nowadays is the matte polish, and just to have like a bottle or two around, um, I think it's fun to have, it's, like I said, it's not for everyone, I know a lot of people don't really like it, but I like it personally, and, um, I was really happy with the results, um, however, again, these chip super fast, but I think for a one day type of thing, they're great, these, lasts a long time. For those of you girls who want polishes that last, I recommend these. Again, use your base and top coat. It's very important. Um, I normally don't keep nail polish on for that long just because I like to switch it up, and you'll see that in a lot of my videos. I have lots of different nail polish colors on, and that's just me. But um, yeah, I definitely recommend looking into Zoya. Um, great selection, great price, and also, I mean, I didn't even cover this, but the whole point of Zoya is that they don't have those harmful chemicals that most nail polishes have. I mean, it's not, like, completely safe. It's, I mean, it's nail polish, you know what I mean? But it's safe, it's as safe as you can get with nail polish, I guess you can say. So that's my review. I hope it was helpful. Um, let me know what colors you guys have, and um, leave me suggestions for ones that I should pick up in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!